Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A jury tasked with deciding the fate of former Jetstar pilot Greg Lynn has been warned they don't have any evidence to convict him upon, and were asked, does that sit well with you? Lynn, 57, pleaded not guilty in the Supreme Court of Victoria to the murders of Russell Hill, 74, and Carol Clay, 73, in the Wanangatta Valley, in the state's Alpine region on March 20, 2020. On Wednesday, Lynn's barrister Dermot Dan Casey harshly criticized the prosecution case. Mr. Dan told the jury they had been left with no evidence to work with to convince themselves beyond reasonable doubt Lynn was guilty of the murders. There is no factual basis on the prosecution case. They have none, not, total blank, Mr. Dan said. There's no evidence, you're being asked to find a man guilty of murder. On the prosecution case there is zero factual foundation, zero motive, just a complete blank. Does that sit well with you? I mean how can it? Mr. Dan said while his client admitted to the crime of disposing of evidence, he could not be found guilty of murder based on the evidence presented at his trial. On the prosecution case there is zero factual foundation, zero motive, just a complete blank. Does that sit well with you? I mean how can it? We're in a murder trial. You're trying to do your duty as jurors and being asked to convict a man. Well you just can't say well look we don't have any evidence but let's just convict him anyway. That's not how it works, Mr. Dan said. The jury heard claims that the prosecution did not adequately challenge Mr. Lin's account when given the chance to cross-examine him last week. What challenge was there to Mr. Lin's account of the accidental death of Mr. Hill? Zero, Mr. Dan said. Nor did the prosecutor ask questions about the knife Lin claimed Mr. Hill tried to stab him with after accidentally shooting Ms. Clay. Is he challenged about that evidence? No. Is he asked a single question about that evidence? No, Mr. Dan told the jury. There's just no challenge. The evidence of Mr. Lin stands unchallenged. Unchallenged as to how Mr. Hill died. Mr. Dan said Lin had no reason to murder the elderly campers. Prosecutor, Mr. Porcetu in his cross-examination of Mr. Lin kept asking these questions about him being a pilot. You're trained to stay calm and deal with stressful situations. Each time he asked such a question it only made the alleged murder of Mr. Hill more and more and more improbable, he said. Why would that man you saw in the witness box, this calm, composed man, what's he going to kill Mr. Hill for when there's no apparent reason to do so? Mr. Dan said a prosecution theory Lin killed the couple over a dispute about his flying of a drone had no evidence to support it. That's not a motive. That's not being put forward as a motive. The prosecution accept they don't know anything about the motive when it comes to Mr. Hill, Mr. Dan said. So that is why we say ladies and gentlemen to you that they don't have a case. There is no meat on the bones. There's nothing. Mr. Dan described the prosecution case as hopeless. We have the rule of law that we try and observe in this court. It is truly, as we said yesterday, just a hopeless case. This is an important case, no doubt, important trial. Seems to be a lot of people interested, no doubt, Mr. Dan said. But the simple reality is, and if this ruffles feathers, it ruffles feathers, it's a hopeless case. They have no case in respect to murder in regards to charge one. How can you find someone guilty in a complete factual vacuum? Mr. Dan claimed the prosecution had also failed to prove that Lynn murdered Ms. Clay. We say there's the same fundamental problems with the prosecution case, Mr. Dan said. The jury heard Lynn had been sitting near his campfire by the river when he saw Mr. Hill take his shotgun and load the magazine. The doors of Lynn's Nissan Patrol had been left wide open to liberate all the music from his car stereo, which in the pilot's own words was done in a childish effort to annoy Mr. Hill after a previous run-in with him. Lynn claimed Mr. Hill accidentally shot Ms. Clay through the head as he attempted to wrestle the shotgun away from him. Pressed upon the bull bar of Mr. Hill's Land Cruiser, Lynn claimed Mr. Hill pulled the trigger blasting off the side mirror and hitting Ms. Clay directly in the head. M.